What's up guys, so we are back here with the last day on earth and we have actually restarted because this is a, I mean, so we learned some important things. Uh, last day on earth is a free to play game currently in beta or alpha, whatever it says there. And they do have a cash shop. But the resources in this game are extremely limited and every time you die you are, you know, losing the resources that you have on your character. So if you lose a lot of resources early on, you're going to have an extremely hard time progressing in the game moving forward. So we've died a couple times already, and now we understand more of the gameplay. We understand more of what to build, what to you know craft, because again, you have to use your resources wisely. You start off the game, and so this is going to be a very, very you know basic beginning game here. And these are going to be some tips and tricks of how to start off the game. Uh, of course, you're going to take all those items right there. You're going to go ahead and equip on your butchering knife, equip on your armor to make yourself a little bit stronger there. And then we need some fibers. You have the crouch button right here, which allows you to crouch up and sneak up on animals and also zombies. We're going to grab the meat there. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to build a hatchet. So we need three of the stone and three of the wood. So we can start chopping down some trees. So far in the other game, I've only played for uh, you know about you know, a few hours, and the little bushes have not respawned the berries. So berries are, are a food source, and you can see the red dots up there are enemies. So we want to come around and sneak up on the enemies to kill them without taking any damage whatsoever. We're gonna gather our stuff. They do have up, oh, so we uh, we got sighted by a zombie, but he's a slow, dumb zombie. So we're able to kind of like get around him. See if we can sneak up on him. The crouching thing here. Yep, so we're sneaking up, and we're gonna just attack from behind and kill him in one shot without taking any damage. Even when we're in that menu right there, we will be attacked by other zombies and other things. So we're gonna go run away from that guy. Oh, there's another one. I guess we can go ahead and kill him right here, just straight up fight. Um, we're only going to take four points of damage, which is not too big of a deal. We can come up here and we can crouch. And kill this guy. So, I mean, when you eat a berry, eat food, it's going to replenish your health as well. So you also have other meters. You have uh, hunger and you have, like, hydration. We should have enough now to create... Oh, we need more stone. Alright, so let's grab some more of the wood. And we are looking for that stone. We don't have a pickaxe yet. Oh, there's another zombie right there. Okay, there's some stone. So now we're going to have enough to get our pickaxe. So let's go ahead and craft that right now. The, hacks, the hatchet. We also need a pickaxe. So we're going to grab the stone there. Let's just go fight straight up. And we should take four points of damage. Not a big deal. We're going to go and use a berry in just a second. All right, so we need one more log. And two more stones to make that... Hatchet. All right, there's the other stone. All right, so we're going to craft that. And uh, inventory spots is really, really important. So we need to get to level 2 to unlock all this other goodness. So we have a hatchet and we have a pickaxe. So we can mine a lot of things, but our backpack is getting full. You can see our backpack is pretty much full. We can't carry anything else. We do need to level up, though. So let's go ahead and try and kill the the deer. Let's sneak up on the deer. And let's continue grabbing our... our fibers to get some experience points here. And let's see. Can we store... No, we can't store the log, so let's not do that. Let's go grab... Uh, grab the stones here. And I believe this, this big stone gives us limestone as well. But as you see, it also gives us a lot of experience. Yeah, so three limestones. 
We can go ahead and click the auto button over here and it'll auto, uh, auto harvest this stuff for you. So once we get to level two, we unlock a lot more crafting recipes. And that's the first goal. Get to level two so you can unlock crafting recipes. There's a small experience bar down in the bottom. It's a little blue. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. So the guy is uh, you know, collecting, gathering everything, and I think we cleared out all of... Oh, see, so he's going to try and leave because there's nothing really here to collect. So inventory's full on that. So I guess, yeah, let's go ahead and leave to a different area. It's recommended you build a house. We're going to disregard that because we need to go get to level 2. And you can see our stats up there. We can go up to the pine bushes here. So it shows you there's a threat of one zombie. There's one wood, one stone, loot, metal. We can go down there, same thing. There's a lot more stuff. Let's go ahead and... So here's a stone ridge. Let's go over here to the pine bushes. And they do have an energy gauge here. And so again, the energy is very, very important. And then you have your premium currency, that Z coin, what you can use to purchase extra items and things like that and replenish your stamina. So our hunger level at 68, our water level at 68. And there is uh, an X over here. Oh, so a dead body. Oh, and there's another player. Oh, shit. So he's trying to kill us, and wow. Look at all the stuff that he has in his backpack. So not only are there zombies, as you can see, but there's other players. That's the first time that we've actually interacted with another player. So we're going to equip his backpack. Which is going to give us more slots. We're going to take all that stuff. A survivor here. There's an access pass. So you're probably going to write that down. 72748. We can actually pick up some uh, some wood now. And we can now chop since we have enough space. So we got a backpack from that dude, which gives us more inventory space. And now we leveled up so we can get out of here now. But we're at 100 health, so we're pretty, uh, pretty strong right now. Oh, and there's a zombie. So let's go ahead and kill the zombie. It's triggering the other zombie. We can go and kill that zombie as well. They didn't drop anything. Inventory is full. We don't have any berries. Oh no, we have 20 berries. So 20 is the max that you can hold. We're going to go and eat one berry there. Eat another berry and we'll eat another. Because you normally get three berries when you gather from these uh, bushes. So let's go there. Inventory is full. Let's collect some more wood. And then we're going to get out of here in just a second. All right, I think that would be good. We're going to uh, back to the home base. So we're leaving the area. We're going to go start building up our house. And then do what I think is the correct you know, order here for building uh, materials and such. And so now there's a zombie attack coming in 20, <laughs> 24 hours. And uh, you can actually make a base here. Nickname base. So it's either another player or... Or what? We don't know. Here's Kenji's base. Devonkin's base. So these are probably other players' bases out here. And then once we start... Yeah, see, this is my home. So this is my base. So people can come and, uh, and invade your bases, it looks like. Really, really cool stuff here. We definitely want to build a farm. But first things first. We probably want more inventory space. So another backpack would be a great idea. I don't know if we uh, 
We need another one since we stole a backpack from some dude. So let's come over here, chop down these trees. And start building our house. So we click up here in the build icon. Now we have uh, our base. So we're gonna go ahead and start building our house. We can build on top of the, the stump, that's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and... It doesn't show us how many logs we have, so we're gonna have to be a little careful here but using all our logs up. Because again, resources are extremely limited and we do need walls and such. So this is a wall right here. So now we're gonna build up our walls. And then we do need a door so we can enter our house. I'm not sure why you'd want a window. And we are now out of logs. So we are gonna exit out Collect some more logs here. And in your house, you can actually build things such as like storage chests. The small box right there. And now these things all cost tokens. So we have four points. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to carry two backpacks or not. Probably not. So we're probably good there. So let's go ahead and build a campfire. We need some more wood for that. We need another, we need the small box so we can store items because storing items in your house protects them unless someone else comes and raids your house. But it's gonna protect them from when you die to the zombies. You're not gonna lose your items. So let's go ahead and auto chop some, some trees here because we need the, uh, the lumber to build up our box and also to build our campfire, which is gonna allow us to cook meat, which is gonna give us more food more regeneration there and keep us healthy. All right, so we can build our box and now our inventory is full. It's not good. All right, so let's stop the auto run. Let's go figure out what we uh, see. We have too many items now. So this is this is the problem here, guys. Running into too many items, you don't want to discard anything because every item is precious. It's a limited resource. So let's figure out what we're going to get rid of. What does this card do? I don't know what that card is. It looks like an access card. This is maybe medicine. And we have a wheel. So I don't know if the wheel is going to be any good for anything right now. And those are seeds. So we can eat the raw meat, but we want to cook it. So let's discard the wheel. And now we can actually craft our thing because we have an inventory slot. So let's go and craft our storage box. So we can use our storage box and you can see we can put it on locations in the house. Okay. We can go over to that box. We can now store our items so we can have a lot more space in our inventory here. And now anytime that we die, we're not going to lose any of these items that are in this box. So obviously you don't want to die, but these zombies do get quite powerful. So we need some logs. And then so then on the next thing is the campfire. We need to build the campfire. So let's see what we need for the campfire. We need uh, five stone now. And I think we have that here. So let's take our stone out. Let's build our campfire. All 
right, so we have a campfire, and so that should be used outside of your house. Oh, no, it looks like it's inside your house. And you can have two campfires max, it says. All right, so we have our campfire there. You can now interact with the campfire. Add workers, increase performance by 25%. You need to build a radio tower to hire workers for the workstation. Okay, we don't have that. So we throw meat in there and then it's gonna cook. Yeah, so one meat is now gonna turn into a juicy steak. Three berries are going to turn into berry tea. And then we have uh, a log into charcoal and plank into charcoal. Carrots into carrot stew. So next up, we should be, you know, making, I think, uh, a garden bed here. So we can go ahead and craft this and we can start building a lot of farms. And we can have food for days, guys. Because we got seeds, but we're going to have to have to grow these seeds. So let's go ahead and put that there. And then let's go get our seeds, because we're going to have to put seeds in here, I'm, I'm assuming. And our guy is getting thirsty. Definitely not a good sign. Let's grab our seeds. Let's see, take all. We took all. We don't want to have everything on us, but uh, for now it's alright. So let's go ahead and throw our... Yeah, so the seeds are going to make carrots. The seeds in there. And you see it's going to take a, a good while for them to actually craft. Or you could skip it with the coins there. So it takes an hour to create your carrots. Let's go ahead and close that. And it, it changed. And now he's hungry. So we're going to go ahead and feed him our meat. No! We didn't. We dragged it into our thingy. So we just ate the raw meat, which really didn't give us much. And now we're going to have to go hunt down this deer. Get the raw meat again. He's thirsty. We don't want to die of dehydration. If you run out of, like, hunger or hydration, you start taking damage over time. So let's go ahead and put our meat in there and then uh, cook it. Oh, we don't have fire. Where did we get fire from? Interesting. Okay. So how do we get fire, guys? That is a million dollar question right now. They also do give you some free items. So they give us some water bottles right now. So we can take our water bottle and we can take our big beans. So we can now uh, use our water bottle so we are not dying of dehydration. We can use our big beans so we are not dying of hunger since our fire did not late. Like, we don't have a fire going, guys, so we need to figure out how to get fire. So I think we need, um, I think we need some wood and to turn that into maybe, like, planks or something. Let's see. Recipes. So, logs. Let's try the logs and see if we can do that. We still don't have fire. Can be used as fuel does nothing. Alright, and now, after we drink one of those water bottles and the cans, we have an empty bottle and a can there, so we can use it for other things to store stuff. So let's go ahead and put all our stuff back over here. Let's keep our... Uh, I don't know if we should keep our water bottle with us. We need to keep our pickaxe. Keep those. We've got berries. So we need to make fire. How do we make fire, guys? Let's keep our berries with us. Yeah, let's keep our container. Let's think about this. How do we make fire? So let's see the recipes. A workbench. Woods and planks. Fire turns ore and scrap into a neat... Okay, we don't have fire, though. Hmm. How do we get fire? That is a very, very good question, though. Let's 
So let's finish building our house. So it uh, gives us some protection. We need some more logs. And this is also going to give us experience as well. So it's just helping us level up. Which is going to unlock more... Uh, more special recipes and things like that. Also potentially more of those little coins. That unlock more recipes and things like that. Interesting that he did not want to chop trees over there. So you got stuck on something. Can't fire. Let me see. Was it say up here? No, add workers. Inventory. Alright, we're taking those. Alright, so we're taking that back and we're gonna start building up our house. Finishing the walls so we have protection. Alright, so we have a nice house here, nicely protected. And we have a stump inside our house. But we still need to learn how to get fire. So let's uh let's leave this stuff here because it's always good to have things in your in your starting zone that's available for you to gather. Again, those resources are so limited. So we don't want to waste all that uh that resources right there. We're getting hungry. We don't have 23 already, which is you know not a lot. We're looking for fire. So that's a really strong base over there. Um, let's go over here to the pine bushes and get some more, uh, some more logs. Some recipes require things that cannot be made via craft. Such parts can only be found. So pretty cool. Definitely recommend. It's a free-to-play game again. It's beta, alpha, whatever it is, early access on uh, iOS. Not sure if it's on other devices, but it probably is. Oh, we got rid of our hatchet. That's why he didn't chop the, uh, the trees. Okay, so let's build a hatchet again. All right, we need more stone. Zombie. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Ah, he's got nothing. Alright, so we're gonna get that, get more stones. Let's go ahead and eat some berries to get a little bit more health. And then let's build up our hatchet. So we can chop those trees down. We do need to find some deer and things like that. We do need to figure out how to get fire. Oh, berries are always nice. Definitely don't heal you that much. They give you two, uh, two of the food hunger. But as soon as we can start cooking the berries, we'll be good. Then I bet if we just log off, we can, uh, you know, kind of not be hungry. Like, we'll be hungry, but we won't be draining our, our hunger. I'm assuming that you only, like, get hungry and thirsty while you're actually playing and logged on. Uh-oh. So we triggered a zombie there. Let's go ahead and just kill him. Gonna take four points of damage. We triggered another zombie. Right, so they don't have anything. Let's go ahead and eat some berries since he's getting hungry again. Right, put us back up to 31. And it also gives us a little bit of water, which is nice. There's a couple of zombies up there, so let's go ahead and just take the auto off and sneak up on the zombies. Hopefully get a kill here. 
Oh, and this is a fast fighter, so this one's a lot stronger. And he had a lot of life. He's got something, though. Oh, what did he have? Don't know what he had. But there's a storage box up here, too. And there's some deer on the left, it looks like. So we've hit the jackpot here, guys. We've got a lot of stuff. So there's some bolts, some storage. Ooh, there's a can of food. Definitely cool. And there's the zombie again. So let's go ahead and kill the zombie. Yeah. Man, look at all these things here. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a wolf. Alright, so the wolf's going to give us food. Alright, we are completely full on items again. Um, I guess we should use some berries. Since we have, you know, two stacks of them. Let's gather some wood. We can still carry that. Alright, so we can carry one more wood. What's in here? We got a can of food. Okay, let's take the can of food. Let's use the can of food. The bolts. Bolts isn't going to make us fire, so we don't need them. Let's go put them back. And I think that's going to be it for right now. We don't need a... Uh... Oh, there's a wolf. We don't need uh, any more trees. Oh, what happened to our body here? Are we bleeding, maybe? Our body, our icon has turned into a bright red up there. Sorry, right, we have 20 of those. Got... Oh, it looks like the durability on the shirt may be dying. Let's try and sneak up on a zombie here. Alright, got the kill, and that alerted the other zombie, which is okay. We're only going to take one damage, most likely. Nice! There's a wolf. So let's see if we can sneak up on the wolf. Kill the wolf. Yep, nice. The meat? I think he had meat. Alright, so let's get the deer and get the deer meat. So we definitely need food, but we still just need to figure out how to do fire. Alright, so that's gonna get us hides. <laughs> Oh, nice. We leveled up, so that's going to uh, increase all our stuff. That should bring everything back up. Oh, it didn't increase our, our hunger and our water. It just increased our life. Oh, shit. There's a, a fast zombie again. Oh, he had a key card, it looked like. Nice, yeah, so we got one more point. We still don't know how to make fire yet, so let's see here. Let's kill the deer. The meat. Let's go cure this deer over here. Take the stone, take the meat. And we've pretty much cleared out this area here, it looks like. There's another zombie. Let's kill that guy. Let's go down and crouch. Oh, it's a fast fighter! Right, so he's gonna hurt us a little bit, but we're gonna be able to take him out. Oh, our weapon broke, too. That's very interesting. First time that that has happened. So we no longer have a, a little hatchet anymore. And there's a special backpack here, it looks like. Ooh, what are we gonna find, guys? Oh, we found some more food. Right, let's go ahead and use that food. Oh, we're getting killed. Something is killing us. And so we were looking at the backpack. We were just getting killed by the wolf. And it is all real time, guys. So definitely note that there's tape here. What the heck? We have this. Uh, maybe let's take this blade thing. Can we use it as a weapon? No, but let's see what it is. We don't know what it is. Oh, shit. And so now we just have punching gloves. Bare-fisted against the zombie. So we're only doing six points of damage. We're not really hurting him much. I wonder if we can put on the rope. Nope. So we can equip one of these weapons. All right, let's equip this. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's another box. Alright, let's crouch and let's sneak up on this zombie here. Because we are almost dead. We're at 51 health. And definitely a lot weaker with this weapon. This one is only doing 7 points of damage. And let's grab the box. And we're going to probably get out of here after this box. Oh, water bottle. Nice. Some beans. What is this? Alright, we can take everything here. Let's go ahead and use the beans. Go and give that back. Let's use the, the water bottle. Let's take this barbed wire, it looks like, maybe. Okay, inventory's full on berries. We can still mine this stuff, so we need more of this stone. Okay, so there is a zombie over here. Damn it. Oh, we got caught. So we're gonna have to chop him down. I mean, guess we could just run away and then come back and uh, try and kill him when he's not looking. But let's just go ahead and use our berries, since there's a lot of extra berries here. Alright, so we're there. That's going to heal us up a little bit. There's some more berries right here. And I think that's going to do it. Okay, we got berries right there, so let's go ahead and use more berries. Since we're full on berries. And uh, let's bounce out of here, guys. We're full on lumber, we're full on berries, we're full on uh, lumber again. We're almost full on stone. And we got some other craziness that we don't know what it is. We got a key card, it looks like. We also got some razor blades, maybe. And we got maybe barbed wire. Upgrade the floor and the walls. Uh, invent a humanitor aid was dropped nearby. There must be something interesting inside. Cool. Um, Show me. So 25 minutes... That's going to have stuff there. Let's go back home, though, because we don't want to lose our items. And we might be taking a break now to replenish our energy. Because the energy should replenish over time. Even when you're not logged on. That's generally how energy works. There's also day and night. So uh, right now it's 12.46. It looks like probably uh, p.m. Or a.m., I should say. All right, let's go to our house and let's... Oh, our deer! We've trapped the deer inside. And our garden is cooking away. We're growing that crop, so we're going to have lots of food. Should be good there. We still just need fire, so that's going to be the next major step is what we're doing. is We're looking for fire, so we've got a lot of meat now. Definitely can use a lot of the stone. We've got two of these key cards, so, uh, oh, it's A and B, so this could be important. Let's go and put the ropes together. Let's put this over here. And I think this is good. All right, let's see if we can use any of these, uh... Furniture, can't do that. I guess, I guess the deer is gonna die. You're trapped in our house, dear. Alright, so what do we have? We can learn the spear. We could also potentially learn... Let's do the woodworking bench. So maybe this is how we're going to get fire. We need five of that. We should have that in our box here. Oh, we only have three. Damn it. Alright, so let's go look for some more of that stuff. That should come from... Uh, stones, I would think. Alright, so let's go mine those stones. It should come from this. So 
That's iron ore. Is that what we needed? Yep, that's what we needed. Perfect. Ah, our tool's broken. Okay, so we need to make a new tool. Let's craft the workbench. Let's use the workbench. And we're going to have to put it in the floor. Alright, so let's put it over here. Let's go see if we can make our fire thanks to this workbench now. Okay, so there's different kind of trees. So we have the pine plank, we got the oak plank, and we got the ash plank. It's going to take a few minutes to craft there. And maybe we can turn that into fire. Alright guys, we are going to take a short break here. I will see you back in probably about 15 or so minutes. Thanks for watching.